Hello. Let me just put this in place. Hopefully you can see me. <laughs> um, just driving back after seeing my mate. He was over from Australia. Don't get to see him too much. But uh, me and my mate Tim, he's uh, my best mate who is, we've you know, we've known each other for the last 11 years now. Went through uh, three different educational programs together. We just did it all together and uh, had our own business together. And, you know, we just share a lot of good times, share a lot of thoughts, do a lot of things together, but, you know, we, we, of course, there's everything, and we go off in different directions. A lot of the times we also had, um, had different directions, didn't always compute with what we um, thought at the time. However, I, uh, I told him, hey, you know, watch, watch the Zeitgeist Moving Forward video tell me what you think and he's always been someone that's been into the monetary system so uh, when he watched it to start with he was like oh yeah I can understand because he only watched it bit by bit I can understand but you know what, what's it, it this doesn't mean anything you know it, what's it actually going to achieve you know it's not giving anything different and then eventually when he got to see the resource-based economy he was like oh Okay, I can understand that process. His only dilemma is like, well, it's never going to happen because of so forth. You know, a lot of people have that argument. And the reason why they have that argument is because the way that they see the world is that there are too many people that will fight against it. And his main one is the powers that be will try to keep what they have, the control of the mechanism, which is through the monetary system. And from that, that is where the largest struggle is towards having a, a social change, the largest social change that we can have. I totally agree with him in that respect, but the, the, the thing that needs to happen for something like a resource-based economy or any social change is that uh, gl global mass, that mass of people that need to take it to the next level, need to demonstrate or stand behind something that is more believable, more evidence-based than the previous uh, notion that was provided. So within this, that's one reason why I support the Zeitgeist Movement, and he He's in that, that stage. I think a lot of people do get to that point, you know, they they, they understand it. It's like, oh, it's too big. I just need to readjust, I think. This this concept, this idea, this, this approach, it's too big for me to handle. And so they just step away from it. And this was mentioned, I was looking at a thing on uh, a fracking website. It actually wasn't that, it was the person that was organising the meeting or hosting the meeting at the university. You know, originally it was like, well, this doesn't mean anything to me. You know, fracking, oh well, it's just another nasty thing that's happening in the world. And then, the fact that it was coming to Canterbury, it was like, whoa, that's in my backyard. That's, that's affecting me. I can't have this. This is, I need to do something about this. And that's where we are with regards to the whole economic process. The world is on the brink of, and when I say brink, I'm not saying overnight. I'm saying it's going to happen eventually in the next you know, years, few years. And when it does, everyone is going to be affected. It doesn't matter which country you're in, you are going to be affected somehow because the monetary system is all interconnected. With it all being interconnected, we all have our part within the system. And for us to move on to something different that is a lot more sustainable for this world, because that's what it is in the end, because it's part of this monetary system that is profit driven, we need to change our values towards a more sustainable life. It does not mean we have to go away from technology and things like that. Technology is something that's learned, it's an idea, it's a process. It's about changing the way that we use technology. It's about coming up with new technological things. 
And that's where a resource-based economy comes in because it's based on the fact that we have knowledge, technical knowledge to do something. And not having a monetary system that actually stops us from doing it. My mate Tim, he was talking about solar energy. He's, he's, he was investigating that. He's thinking, oh, I've got a great business idea. You know, I could do this, this, and this. And he looked into it. And the thing that was stopping it was not the technical side, it was the monetary side. Because in the end, it's not viable by money. But that's the thing. Who, the people at the top are making the money. Taking it from the people at the bottom. And again, that's the reason why this occupates Wall Street and this whole um, Occupy the Whole World movement is now starting to happen. And it is interconnected. The whole process of what happened in the, in the Arab Spring was because food prices was too much. And when food prices change, people cannot afford to live. And it's all based on the oil economy that we have that is causing food prices to go up and it's going to keep going up yet our wages are not. And if you can't see that, you're just not looking at the correct picture. You're not looking, you get told by the mainstream media about what you, what is, which is not. not meant to be any scare tactics or anything like that. Oh, big bump, might lose it. But if you're not open to that idea that evidence is showing that something is going to happen, you're going to have a huge shock to your system. That is where the problem happens because people are going to panic. And in that panic, that's where we're going to have chaos. And that's why I support the Zeitgeist movement, because I want to be part of that process of just informing people that something bad is about to happen. Just be ready. And there is another solution. There is a different way. Another way that we can actually work around this world that we live in. A resource-based economy. Someone almost hit me. Not because of me, because they were driving. As you notice, I was looking at the road. Anyway, that'll do me. Remember building seven. See ya.